Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dish Pit Podcast. This is your host, Jay Fandango, here for episode 66, take two, with my co-host... Mikey McGill, yeah. still here, we're redoing it. Yeah, the crow is still here, live and cracking. And coming at you live, El Padre Chocolate. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we originally had a couple other episodes recorded, uh, and they got messed up due to technical difficulties so we were redoing them it was this was today was supposed to be episode 69 originally but <sighs> fuck man so we now we gotta wait on another it. three weeks till yeah. 69 but now we're more caught up uh the uh, podcast will be more current and i'll actually upload it when we record it and so I it'll can, make a little more sense i can guarantee those lost episodes are really good so we're gonna be like they're all better. right so in like, current we, news some of the things you've missed alex Rodriguez has separated from Jennifer Lopez. That's not current, bro. That was like months ago. He's ultimately lost 170 pounds. Uh, oh, well, 40 and then 130 in Jennifer Lopez's weight. And he's <laughs> richer than ever. So, congrats to him. Uh, yeah, congrats. I don't right. know. J-Lo's pretty hot, bro. Facts. Yeah, but you know what's hotter? $50 million and single. I don't know. I probably would still go with J-Lo. J-Lo's right now. pretty I mean, fucking hot. Like, yeah, yeah, but let me ask you something. She's faithful, too. If you like, could only eat one meal for the rest of your life. Hot dogs. This is, you yeah. probably shouldn't be talking about this. <laughs> me? Yeah. It's just a question. What would it be? I'm a, faith, Tacos, I'm a faithful enchiladas. man, so I would go with J-Lo. If I could only eat one meal for the rest of my life... Meal as I, would, girl. I would prefer it be J-Lo. You know, For like, real. I, wasn't talk, I was <laughs> like, talking about food. I, I all right, so food? Okay, you took it off J-Lo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, let's just get that out there. Oh, we're, not, J-Lo over. we're not talking about girls? Because J-Lo's rich. Like, well, she's my sugar mom. If, Damn. I, if I would have been talking about J-Lo, I wouldn't have been. I would have been comparing... J-Lo the girl, to... No, the 23-year-old. Something I can eat every day, all the day. The milk that he was allegedly cheating with is bad and she's like half her age so like i said i'd rather be a 50 millionaire damn and single than now you're like and... saying j-lo's old she, she is look, old she, she is good old. bro she okay good. you see her in that one movie you, you see her at the super bowl what's the movie with cameron Diaz? the recent one yeah and the... i can't remember what it's called and she hooks up with the other two girls what this dude side chick and mistress and they Take all his money. Oh, uh, the sweetest thing. Yeah. So y'all want Cameron Diaz or y'all want the young, bro? Because they're the same age. I don't know. I'll about take uh, Diaz. Jennifer Lopez still. J-Lo. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, food I could eat every day, like only only food I could eat. You gotta think about like nutrition, like nutrition do wise you, too, bro. Do you really? Yeah, man. Because if I'm eating this thing, I can't just pick like French fries. <laughs> I would. You know, it, you're gonna die. I would have it be pasta <laughs> because pasta. You'll die on pasta too. But pasta is versatile, so you can switch it up. It would still be pasta with veggies. You know? Like you can put different vegetables in you it, can, different you, meats in it. But, like, you but that's not what he's pasta. saying. You can't. You can't be like, all right, I want carbonara today, but I want pesto today. Nah, bro. But you it's get pasta. One. I get to choose one <laughs> one type of meal, right? You choose your final thing. Your final to prison eat, meal, and bro. That's it. That's oh. all you eat for the rest of your life. I got mm-hmm. mine. Y'all said J Lo, and I was like, we're not talking I'm, about nah, women. I'm, talking I'm about thinking uh, surf and turf. Type shit, you nice. know, lobster and steak. You right. know? How do you want your steak cooked? Medium, bro, Damn. or medium's good. Yeah, are you okay yeah. with the loaded red potatoes and broccoli? Mm, I do like that loaded broccoli potatoes and broccoli. You got really it. Just like this, that's what I would ask at a. Except you wouldn't get lobster. You could. You have a choice between a crab cake or oh. shrimp. Mm-hmm. Uh oh, they're killing cats back there next door again. Yeah, Jacoby has a cat in heat. Oh, for for the for the listeners. Jacoby moved into my apartment. Yeah, with his girlfriend, like, dog and cat. I, you know, I love them, but the, you know, their animals are definitely some characters. Atlas. He like blows the fuck up out of the room, like farting. This like, fucking I dog, swear, the stinkiest farts. It tasted like hot ass. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I could taste it. I'm You're not, absolutely right. Is that dude. onion and ketchup? Yeah, it's <laughs> disgusting, man. With but, smegma, and then, bro. And then, bro. <laughs> and then the cat's in heat, so she's just back there howling. So if you hear 
the cat howling. It's that's why. Or all of us go, Atlas. What the fuck? Did any of you guys no. get to see the super moon a couple nights ago? Did I did. I saw it. The There's pink, another yeah, it moon. Was really nice. The and pink was, moon. The it was it was super really cool. The there was um like you could see the moon really brightly, and then there was like a red circle around the moon on the clouds. Like it was really cool. Mm. <coughs> I heard about that. They're, I think they're doing like an experiment on the moon. So every year we're going to have these super moons. It's because they're experimenting on the moon. No, the moon is in an apex. It's actually where it is on the earth. It it rotates the earth slower than the earth rotates by far. Like years it takes years for the moon to do one full cycle. So it's not an elliptical orbit, or it's not. No, it's not a cir- circular orbit. It's elliptical. So there's sometimes where the moon is farthest away from the Earth, and there's sometimes where it's the closest that it is from the Earth to the Earth. It's just what if there's a full moon or not? We can see it. Sometimes the moon's really, really close, but it's it's a new moon, so we don't see it. But it's still really close. But now it's really close. It's coming back around, and it's really close, and we can see it at the closest you'll probably ever see it for the next five years or so. So you're telling me you think the moon's real? Yeah. And Earth isn't flat. Prove it to me that the moon is real right now. The We've time. been Go there. Ahead. We've been no, there. No, no, like, I, I want, I need you to tell, you haven't been there. Okay. The tide. So, man has tides. Thank you, Mark. Mm-hmm. The tides. Wind. It's a great example. Because <laughs> they told you gravity pulls and ebbs and flows the, the tides. The moon's okay. gravity. Yeah, I know. That's yeah. That's, that's where I was. Pulls on our pulls in our water i obviously know the moon is real yeah no but you were just like telling me he was but like tides wind weather wind? yeah wind is also governed by the moon all nature is like linked between us and the moon we we didn't start forming actual nature and have weather systems until the moon was formed huh because even though, and, and I get it wrong, I said earlier years, it takes for the years, no, but it, it takes months for the moon to fully orbit the Earth. Because we orbit the Earth 17 times in a day, right? In space? From this, from space oh, space yes, space. spacecraft. But that's because they're traveling at 17,500 miles per hour. Yeah. Well, I remember th- thinking, imagine how dizzy you would be to circle anything 17 times and then well you don't you don't you that's why there's weightlessness grab uh, space really isn't weightless there is no weight there is no gravity the reason why you experience weightlessness is because you're in constant free fall it's like if you're taking an elevator and you're on the hundredth floor and you drop it and you just zoom down to the first floor everything in the elevator is going to start fucking floating you're going to start floating because everything falls at a constant rate. I can drop this bottle cap and this lollipop from the same height, and they both will hit the ground at the same time, even though they don't weigh the same. That's how gravity works. And so when you're in space and you're orbiting, you're basically orbiting at an angle up so you can use gravity to sling you down. So you're in a constant fall around the planet. What if it's like uh, something pointy? What do you like mean? to for wind resistance. Like, what if it's something pointy? And yeah, it, can, no. it still falls the same. Speed. What if same. what if it's a leaf? Well, see, that, <laughs> yeah, that's a little weird. <laughs> All right. So what you're saying that if it's a leaf, the leaf itself ha- has an obstruction to the wind. I'm talking about in a vacuum. So if you crumble up a leaf in a vacuum, it doesn't matter. Oh, in okay. a vacuum, you can drop a leaf and you can drop a bowling ball and it's gonna hit the ground at the same time. Oh, okay. Wind. And the but atmosphere. But if you dropped a penny and a bowling more. ball off the Empire State Building, they would still. I, I think the bowling ball would still go get hit first, right? Probably, but there'd be wind resistance. What about because the weight of the bowling ball would make it go faster, right? No, no? It, you won't. Ac- you don't accelerate. No. No gravity. Your pull on gravity is constant it's based on your weight. You you can't accelerate beyond your natural gravity. I get that, weight. but a, but a bowling ball is heavier than a penny, right? So wouldn't it fall faster? It, not in a, on Earth. On a vacuum. In a, I, I, in I a get, vacuum, I, I, no. I get in a vacuum that it wouldn't, but on Earth, yes, right? Depends on what type of, like, if, there's, if it's a really windy day, if there's no wind, then probably not. I'm going to just test this, boys. Let's do it. There's, there's a Snapchat page. I want to get on the roof, and I'm going to drop 
something heavy and something drop the cat small. And these guys in the UK <laughs> drop the cat on one and drop the dog on the other and see who <laughs> lands first. They <laughs> drop the most insane stuff on the most insane stuff. They made like a Lego Titanic and they were dropping bowling balls and basketballs and volleyball. So like, I think that'd be fun to just drop some stuff. Time Bro, we should go on a cruise as a friend group. You know how lost now be? Oh, cruises are back now and they're cheap. Yeah, man. I'd I would get drunk with y'all if we did. Bro, do. I'm old <laughs> enough to now drink on a cruise. I would get belligerent. Yeah. Cause my and then you get thing... in the hot tub, watch a movie on the deck, man. F- unlimited ice cream, bro. bro there's John nothing... Wick was... Yeah, I've never been John on a cruise. Wick was out when we did the cruise. Really? I've never so, been on a cruise. The, the second Alice in Wonderland was out when I went on my last cruise. I went on two cruises, but I was young. I was like 15. I've been on was one it like cruise. one of those Disney cruises? No, it was Carnival. Mm. The first time I did Mushrooms, we went and saw Alice in Wonderland in the movie theaters. And it was the crazy experience of my life. Yeah, that movie is fucking trippy. It's based off that. <laughs> it was so trippy. I fell asleep in the backseat of a Yeah, car. like Jefferson Airplane type shit. Like mm. I couldn't go home. I was just that's what they. Out. That's Curled where the term ball. down the rabbit hole comes from too, yeah. right? Yep. Alice in Wonderland. You know it's another trippy movie to watch when you're tripped out? <laughs> the Matrix. <laughs> Um, Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. Oh, hello, hello, mm-hmm. hello. Mm-hmm. I love the original one. Mm-hmm. I've never seen that. I just sucks that they Sucker. compressed all yeah. the, a bunch of, like, four of the books into one movie. Yeah. Well, if you watch the, te- the TV series. Yeah, it spreads it out mm-hmm. a little more. Is it good? Yeah. I liked it, yeah. I need to, I need to go and watch it. It's, it's Neil Patrick Netflix. Harris. Yeah, I know. I yeah. see that. I know, I just, Jim Carrey's my boy. That's like Jim Jamie Kennedy playing The Mask, you know? I Hell no. Yeah, Jamie that Kennedy would be weird. is funny, though. He is funny. I enjoy his movies, like Malibu's Most Wanted. <laughs> Hilarious <laughs> be movie. Be red. He's, he's funny. But other than, you know, honestly, other than Malibu's Most Wanted, yeah, I can't can you name another movie? Another... He used to do a lot of, same thing with, like, Martin Short. He did the he Jamie funny, Kennedy though. experience. Oh, yeah, That, that was show. a really good show. Um, was it? Yeah, I never okay. watched it. It was okay. It was like uh, pranks, right? Yeah. Do you guys know Nick Schwartzen had a show? Yeah. And it was mediocre. It was sucked. The best. Some of it was funny, but most of it was like. It's. Mm. It was right in there with the Kroll show. The best. Kroll show was TV fucking show. hilarious. The first bro. season. Bobby Bottle Service. <laughs> was Fez Steve Wilburn? What is, is that his name? Wilbur. Steve Wilbur. Wilbur Wilder Wilbur Valderrama. Oh, Wilmer. Wilmer Valderrama. Wilmer had a show called Yo Mama on MTV. <laughs> See, I always pass that up because I'm not going to listen to people telling Yo Mama jokes. It's like that it show Wild and Out. So I always skip that funny. show. What? Yeah, that show's stupid. You've never seen Wild and Out? I've stumbled upon it. It's, they it looks like just everybody's just Wild and Out. They are. They are. <laughs> like, what is happening? That happens this, in my. What is happening on it? That's what I was like. I that, mean, this happens in my real life. Little, games, little mini all games. Improvisation. I like Silent Library. That was a good one. <laughs> Y'all never know. seen Silent Library? That is a so good it's like one. So it's like it's like a game show. You're in a library and you have to do all these challenges that will make you like either laugh or scream <laughs> out. Like you'll be like strapped to something and they're like slingshotting you in the back with no shirt on and you have to be quiet. <laughs> yeah, oh, if you're, uh, or, yes. or they do some fun, or there's some funny shit happening like people are slipping on on like jacks, you for, know the jacks. For each and, challenge they offer See, I'm money, losing that bro. show. What's the name of this? Silent Library. What I'm looking this up. For each challenge, they offer you money. If you can do this and keep your, oh, your volume <laughs> lower than a certain point. So you're doing all kinds of weird stuff and keeping it. And then, um, you know, it shows like the volume meter and there's people kind of like side-eyeing. Them yeah, chuckling. it's like paid it's, actors. They're yeah. like... It's pretty funny. <laughs> like anytime someone gets too loud, they like look over like the librarians <laughs> over there with their glasses, like looking. <laughs> Fucking. Uh, uh, All right. Wait, I, so I you said you'd that. lose, Michael. You I'd don't lose. think you'd be able to do that. I mean, I could keep my composure for a while, but if it's somebody doing real something really fucking stupid, they're offering. Yeah. Money, I think that'd bro. be a fun gimmick, wouldn't it? Like they're hard like cash. Putting those uh, like. Um, those laundry clips on him. Oh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bro, like, see, I could do good on that, but if it's something that's laughing funny, two counts. Just making noise in general, like pain, laughter, like just being loud. You have to like whisper and shit. See, like if it's pain, I can do that. But if it was like holding in laughter, there's only so much I can take. It's if funny. It's, if it was like one funny thing, this motherfucker's not even supposed to be here today. I live here. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I don't know if I could do it if it's hilarious. Depending on the hilarity of it. Like, 
if it was like Mark falling down the stairs or something, I'd be fucking <laughs> dying laughing. I'd lose right there. His hat's like the last thing that goes down. <laughs> it would be kind of funny at first to see someone fall down the stairs. I then I'd go and help him out, but like the initial fall, yeah. But falling down apartment stairs, that's that would suck. Usually happens They're when you're metal drunk and stone. <laughs> it would suck. Uh, it's actually cement. Oh. Yeah. Anybody ever miss like one of the steps and you hit the other step directly in your shin? When you're like walking up, no, the but sometimes I'll like, like kick the step on the way up because my feet are big. Like, uh, I'll just do they trip up the stairs. <laughs> no, nah, I've been drunk where you just miss it, you just like, Broop! and the step just hits you right in your shin. I'm like, ah, and you do the whole Peter Griffin, like, ah, <laughs> bro. They just came out with this episode where they did like an African one. <laughs> oh my god, dude's why wearing, dude's wearing his pants. <laughs> Fucking runs and falls and he he stops and he's like, <laughs> oh, bro, <laughs> bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hell bro, no. hilarious. <laughs> Family Guy, man, they don't give a shit. Brad, they don't. So I was watching the South Park pandemic special. Oh, I was watching the, that today. I watched that the other day. And the, did you watch the vaccination special? No, I haven't. Mm, bro, that I shit can only is so imagine. stupid. Everyone's like trying to get a little bit of the vaccination. They're like <laughs> stealing it from the government and shit. And like the teachers are not wanting to teach the kids. Bro, Cartman put a, a bunch of ketchup on the teachers chair so it looked like she had a period on her bro when like, where skirt. is this episode it's on hbo i was just watching that today it like, came uh, it came out re- like last week yeah bro, yeah i was in a hotel so they you know you get hotel tv you know but they had like it was like two o'clock in the morning so I was like, comedy Cent- there's only like a few channels comedy that, central is the go-to yeah there's only like a few channels that actually have stuff on but you always go to comedy central the south park and i was just sitting up just dying like the whole um there were older ones, but like where the they opened up the sushi place next to the city walk, you know. And bro, that guy's vo- voiced by the same person as the Chinese guy. That is, um, I could tell the but, Japanese and mm-hmm. the Chinese guy. But there was so fucking no cut of fish. Should I eat the cut of fish and the asparagus or the vanilla pesto? I don't understand what he's saying. <laughs> that shit was funny, man. Yeah, that was good shit. Part, you man. know, like. That type of nostalgia thing, like I was talking with somebody the other day. I was like, anybody remember watching movies on VHS? Mm-hmm. Like only VHS? Yeah. Not yeah. just VHS, but recordings of movies on VHS? Yeah, bro. I like, remember doing that. Like, rec- I remember recording TV on the VHS. Yes, tape. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, not like, just movies. I was but... watching, what was I, wa- I will, what was I watching? I think it was like Ghostbusters. It was on TV, or it was on. It was in my queue. Like I turn it on, and I'm watching it, and the movie ended, and I wanted Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom to just play because growing up on the VHS tape was Ghostbusters, and then Indiana Jones was right after it because my dad would have like HBO or whatever, but anytime a movie came on that he wanted, he was fucking record, it, yeah, yeah, recording that hoe. So there's like certain movies that always get connected in my brain just because they were on the same VHS tape. Like, so you're like, The Goonies. I had The Goonies. <laughs> and then came Popeye. Remember the Robin the Williams? The Robin Williams one? Popeye. Bro. Yeah. And then my dad had recorded yeah, something. Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> Bro, he was weird with it. Look at the Bro. And the guy That's who played Popeye Bluto was, was like, <laughs> the guy who played Bluto was like retarded. Like mm-hmm. I was like, is he seriously a retard? <laughs> like, <laughs> bro, I love it was that okay movie back then. And Olive Oil was the movie. chick from The Shining. I would, uh, I would. That's how I watched Dragon Ball Z at first when I was younger. I had a bunch of the Dragon Ball Z tapes. Oh, I would just yeah. watch them on, uh, on this uh, TV with a VHS player in it, and I would mm. also record TV shows on the tapes did you ever record over something that your dad wanted <laughs> that he had watched no my dad I used to do shit like my, that my dad didn't really care too much about the tapes so my mom and dad were settling down at this point so they'd done the concerts 
So I was watching VHSs, like the bootleg versions that you buy after the concert that somebody recorded at the concert (laughs) of Michael Jackson, (laughs) Prince concerts that they went to. So I'm watching Michael Jackson do the leans on stage. And, you know, as a kid, you're standing in front of that big ass TV. You're like, you thinking you Michael Jackson. So those uh, we had the bootleg Mary Kate and Ashley uh movies where they was detectives well before they were whores like man i sure. remember them I, we bro we did too we had true. the uh bro huh I, are they i whores? grew up with sisters they're not whores. They're they're literal, you know i had whores for money no they just look like they're like addicted to meth or something is that so that makes them bad people yes <laughs> All right, well, I won't argue with you too much on that one, but... <laughs> hey, I don't know, bro. I still wouldn't call them whores, bro. Hey, yeah, Mary-Kate and Ashley... It's crazy how they... Original I don't feel like you I wasn't on TN and Tamara. I was on Mary-Kate. You're Mary respecting Kate. the sanctity of I was on them both, No, no, absolutely not. Hold on. I did, too, but... I don't think you're respecting the sanctity of this podcast. Absolutely. Like, look, the, the, the reigning Olsen, the winner, is Elizabeth, and she is most definitely not... What about the one. other one, the blonde one? Which one? Caitlyn. Yeah, Caitlyn. She Olsen. don't count. Isn't How she the she fucking? She's from... a Scarlet Witch. No, that's Elizabeth Olsen. No, no, Caitlyn is. Caitlin. Uh, no. Isn't Dee an Olsen? Oh no, that's Caitlyn Olsen. Caitlyn Olsen. She's not related to them. I think she is. Is she? No. She's no. Not. Oh no no, it was Elizabeth that I there's thought only, wasn't. Yeah, Elizabeth, there's only three. You have Mary Kate, Ashley, my... and Elizabeth. That was my fault. And hey, Elizabeth's actually not. You know, you know, maybe she could still get addicted to drugs. You never know. I know she's old now, right? So. Hey, yeah. She's past. She's not old. She's, she's in her thirties. Meth age. She's probably your bro, age. <laughs> there's no cap for meth age. I don't bro. think there <laughs> is. And I think she's your age. Let's let's look it up. Where's my fucking phone, man? Oh, I'm sure she's married. Girl like that's not single. Scarlet Witch. You think the Scarlet Witch is single? I don't know. J Lo. I don't single. think she's single. I don't think. Who she's is J Lo? <laughs> well, recently single, but hey. that won't be for long, bro. Nah, she'll probably be scooped First up off, tonight. That's not. How- that's not how it works, bro. Y'all. You think somebody's gonna wait around to try That's to holler at Jayla? Are you gonna put we, we, right, teach us real quick? Let's just let's just be real. She's not married. She has a let's partner. Let's be realistic, G, because I want you to understand where I'm coming from with this. Of all the people who have, she's 32, bro. You're old. More shit, money than J Lo. Must be why. Let's take all Robert. the women out of the equation. It's Robbie just Arnett. men. He's just now Arnett. we're talking about rich men who are single. Cause, Cause, we took the ones that is married out. Gee, do all of these rich men want a fifty-year-old with money, or do they want, or do they want a young, hot, tender run? Bro, you're how forgetting the not, fact that what she's is he even talking about. How is this not ruining the sanctity how of the podcast? How old is Jamie? I didn't hear what he Bro. said. Honestly, how I was old is up, Jamie? He's going how back on the J Lo thing. I understand that. So you understand, and you ain't got a lot, as much money as who I'm trying to compare it to. So I'm just saying, bro, you. Kn- you naturally go for things younger. First than of you. all, the reason why Alex didn't lose That's money. That's not true. I like older women. Yeah. I've and, dealt with some older okay. women. The they last person it. who played with your penis, was she older or younger than you? She was older. The last person? Yeah. Okay. Older. All right. Cause, Even cause the one it, before that was older, too. Cause it normally, There's not a lot of girls that I've messed around with. That hey, those older ones can show There's you a, a thing or two, bro. <laughs> A lot of people or they can't want something <laughs> new when it comes. To, when you amass certain things, it's like okay, I need to try something else. Like how how many Iron Man comics can you read until you're like, all right, I want to read something else. And it's it's the same thing. Uh, like, none I of mean, them. I mean, you can't. You're comparing Iron Man comics to a woman. Like I, also, that's, we never okay. got my favorite meal. In There's there a certain too. type of person that can date J Lo. You can look at the list, and they fit this. See now you multi millionaire profile, bro. Now you're so losing of me, bro. All, the all right, but now but do they want a fifty year old? I'm going to for J Lo. Hold yeah. on, but now you're making assumptions about J Lo. Like, yeah, and about you us. don't know what J Lo wants I'm or what J Lo needs. Talking like, about the J Lo don't need the male us. perspective, bro. Like I'm only coming at yeah, bro. She doesn't need us. That's why I said I'm going to simp for her. The reason why A Rod got out of that thing clean is because J Rod J Lo don't need no A Rod money. She's like, I don't need your stupid baseball money. I'm fucking Jennifer Lopez. Bro, she's had money since the, the 80s, bro. Like A Rod <laughs> saw something half that age that was hotter. He said, Hmm, this is what I'm worth. This is what I can have, and I wouldn't be t- like it. Just I don't makes think sense. it's like that. I, I like here's my argument for uh, Alex. In his favor, 
and it has to do with J-Lo's track record. Knowing J-Lo, she's never been... She's been with people, but never longer than just a couple years. Like, maybe five years or so. And then she moves on to somebody else. So, And she is Puerto Rican, so maybe she's fucking crazy. Okay? Maybe she's, like, Hispanic crazy, and that's why the relationships don't sustain. So I can see Alex getting out of there like, oh, bitch fucking threw yeah, a... Yeah, wasn't she with Ben Affleck? Yeah, she was with Ben Affleck. She was with Enrique Iglesias before he fucking became gay. She was with... Bruh, <laughs> turn him gay. <laughs> Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony. I still think she's like, hot. Anyway, yeah, she's P hot. Diddy. We're not going to name all them people. We already talked. P we Diddy. had a whole episode about the hot crazy meter, right? Didn't we? Well, not a whole episode, but we talked about it. Yeah, the hotter it is the crazy. There has to be crazy. an age range in there, too, because 50 got to be the cap. We started right. talking about that, too. I feel like Jennifer Aniston that's is over started, 50, and we, she could get the business. That's Hell okay. Yeah. Any day I of the you. week. Listen, any day, any I time. hear you saying yeah, I, I would throw a good fuck into J-Lo. I'm like, oh, 100%, I got to agree with you. You wouldn't want to show up to a place but with that's J-Lo. But you're going to marry would definitely for the rest of your yeah. life. Uh, that's it. You'd probably get pussy just off the fact that you were with J Lo. Exactly, and you're already a rod. That's what you're saying, G. Get the fuck out of here, It just bro. depends on, fuck bro. Out you here. know when you get a girlfriend, the <laughs> girl starts a is, fucking. Bro. It's like a territorial thing. Yeah, the, you only get a new girlfriend because you have any, a girlfriend. Any time I've ever had a girlfriend is only time those those chicks you used to talk to come out of the woodwork and try to hit you up. Yeah, they don't ever was, hit you up when you're alone. He's not if around. If I was rich in my age right now, and I was. Hollering at Jenny from the block, yeah, I would be trying to scoop that up, wife that up. I feel well, we're like we're talking about fifty year old J Lo. Mm. Guys, she don't Robbie look Arnett is Elizabeth Olsen's husband, and he's a musician. Yeah, is he related to? What, there's another famous. Is he related to? You talking about Will Arnett? Yeah, I doubt it. He's a musician, so she met him. She met him like probably doing the music on the fucking. Sc- <laughs> On uh, what should we call it? The Marvel movies. It doesn't tell. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to. Uh, there wasn't much Will Arnett's on on Wikipedia and find out for you real quick. Mm-hmm. He's Canadian. Hey. Does he have any? Bro, they only do spouses, partners, and children. What the fuck? Wait, he dated Amy Poehler. Oh, so he's been in. The, <laughs> Bro, they married scene. 2003, divorced 2016. They were married for a minute. Damn, Amy Poehler, she can get it too. She's all right. She's tiny, bro. bro. She's like practically a midget. Of all bro, the, no, she's not a midget. Just, I'm kind <laughs> of tiny. Same. She's just short. I wouldn't say she's tiny. Mm. What'd you say? <coughs> Mark's just saying he does not date older chicks. No, that's not what I'm saying. <coughs> I'm saying if in his position, you're right. Amy no Poehler can to get it. Stick with me. Also, I just looked at a picture of her. Also, my favorite meal, if my meal that I could eat for the rest of my life, I could do it. I, I've already built it in my head. <coughs> Start off with a little chips and salsa. You know, you got the green and you got the red. I don't need any queso or nothing like that, right? Now you can Cheese only have enchiladas. one veggie with your meat. <coughs> oh, I'm not even having veggies. Or beans. They don't count as vegetables, do they? That's uh, a starch. No, it's not a vegetable. It's a starch. So, yes, it is. This is the sun. Beans are not oh, a no, vegetable. It's not a vegetable. Bro, we're talking about a meal. That's what okay, I'm telling you, you said my meal. Vegetables. Starts off with chips and salsa, cheese enchiladas with like red chili and chili con carne on there, Mexican rice or maybe cilantro rice or something <laughs> cool like that, charro beans, two crispy tacos. Good. Every day. Can't All be day. no lettuce on your tacos, bro. Okay, okay. <laughs> Keep All the right, lettuce. so just one thing to eat I every tomatoes. day. All <laughs> day. Chicken noodle soup. Bacon. Bacon. Damn, G just going straight for the pig. Homemade chicken noodle soup. (coughs) It's delicious, and it'll sustain me nutrient-wise. Bacon tacos. (laughs) Sorry. Nice. I like where you're going with that. Bacon tacos like bacon and pork butt or something if you're like on the pig you know at least get like a backup to just i would have a bacon. i would have a side vegetable or something like you know? what cream mm-hmm. corn some I would have a, you know what <laughs> salad and tacos what that kind way, of salad that way it'd be only, nice and healthy you can't have like a mixed greens why because you've already got one, too many items i get one meal 
That's right? what I was saying about Michael. <laughs> now you see what I'm I, get, I said chicken noodle soup. Wait, so nobody I get, said I get one items. meal, right? A meal. You just right? said meal. So <laughs> No, he said food technically at first. Yes. One food? Is it one food or one meal? Alright, look. Because if it's Let's one make food, it a meal is different. Clear. I'm putting cheese because then you can put cheese in everything. <laughs> I said <laughs> I put cheese in this coconut real quick. Yeah, give me a give banana me some, over here. But Come a lot on. Of things encompass food. So yeah, your last meal for life is what? <laughs> I want fluffernutter. What the fuck is butter fluff beer? Or it's the uh, marshmallow fluff it's in marshmallow. a can with peanut butter on a sandwich. It's gross. I don't think it's gross. I never had it. I just saw it on uh, Oz. We used to do the. Uh, man, my I've mom. I've never had it. No. My mom fucking bought this. But that was his last meal on Oz. It was like, <laughs> it was like marshmallow <laughs> in a jar. I, I don't, it was before fluff or nutter, but it was like the. It was like a mentally challenged guy, and he was on death row, and that was his last meal. Was no one fluff or nutter? I'm that's what he fluffing. sounded like. Yeah, I'm not mocking him. That's something a retard would. That was want. a. Div- that was an expert, accurate, totally respectful depiction of that guy's voice. Yeah, so he, Continue, my mom Michael. got like the I'm marshmallow afraid, spread. Shh, you're interrupting right? Michael. And. She bought a whole jar of it. We fucking hated it, right? You don't like marshmallow spread, man? No. It tastes like marshmallows in spread form. Then I'll just get a marshmallow. And what? Microwave (coughs) it? No, you just like rip it. How else are you going to make Rice Krispie treats? You melt marshmallows in butter, which is pretty much what that is. Bruh. You ever made Rice Krispie treats from scratch? That's what you do. You melt marshmallows in butter. But yeah, it's just like a marshmallow. Why you got to make me sound like I'm stupid, bro? I don't know. You came at me with. (laughs) <laughs> like well, here's how, bro. All marshmallow fluff is is marshmallows. It tastes the same. Yeah, but I wouldn't. I don't use understand that. why you're being racist. Over I wouldn't here. make Rice Krispie treats with it. I bet you'd be good. No, I'm disgusted already. <laughs> I hate. I want to make some and give you and not tell you that it was fluffer. <laughs> the fluff. So she like made us eat the whole jar. Like, she made you eat a whole jar of it? Eat, how do you make someone eat a jar like we, of like marshmallow, marshmallow like spread? Normally, <laughs> like, normally we would have... No, it wasn't like in one sitting. <coughs> normally we would this have is like your a, snack for every day you get one spoonful. You would have to eat that with like... We would eat it with like crackers or something. Why shit. would you have to do that? Because we didn't eat it. And she's like... You need oh, to eat wait, wait, wait. Who is this? Let me, wait, wait. My mom. Wait, 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 wait. wait. So you were <laughs> at the store. Voice. Let's get the whole story, bro. Your mom's voice. You okay. were at the store, uh-huh. and you begged for the marshmallow spread. No, no, I didn't beg. Even though you know your mama said, don't ask me for shit when she we said, get this stuff. We don't need the marshmallow spread. And you were like, mom, I want the marshmallow <laughs> spread. She bought the marshmallow spread, and then you didn't eat it. <laughs> so that's you, why, you didn't like it. That's didn't why, like it. yeah. That's why she made you eat it. Yeah, yeah. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Thanks for bringing that traumatizing thing back up, G. I appreciate that. <laughs> Honestly, bro, like, you want to talk about, bro? There was a cereal that my mom bought for her, and I was like, Mom, I want some cereal. And you like the cereal? I hated the cereal. <laughs> I tried the cereal two bites of the cereal and i was like i don't fucking like this cereal you gonna and eat this shit my right mom now, was like it. eat every bite of that cereal like i'm not playing with you <laughs> like she was not playing and she sat there and like was staring at me while i ate the cereal like damn you better like you smoking cigarettes and shit and you had to smoke the whole man <laughs> man i i ate it and then like i didn't like it so much that i threw up like it was that bad like Damn. And then she was like, all right, you good. <laughs> but it was bad, though. So, Damn, um, you Mr. Goodbard. That's what I call him, Mr. Goodbard. Mm-hmm. Big Mama made me and played to something, and I was like, ooh, give me extra. <laughs> and she did. Who's Big Mama? Maritha. <laughs> Rita Anderson. Gramp, my mom's gramp, my mom's grandma. 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 Your great grandma. Yeah. Grandma. That's what we called her. Marita. Big Mama, tea lady. Big mama. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, um, she made she was she was making breakfast and I was it, it was smelling good. You ever come downstairs to some just heaven? Hell yeah. Heaven in the kitchen in the kitchen and you you know Somebody you got your band playing. Like, oh big mama, give me extra. That's what I said. And she did. She gave me one of them chicken feet. Like Man, the thing. When she whatever she put in front of me, I just remember. <laughs> you know, in the cartoons, how like their face would change color and go all the way down green. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. was me at that moment. I was like, oh, it was nasty. Oh, oh no. Uh, like, it's it was too much. Yeah, it like, was like collard greens and grits and something. And I was like, I don't, I don't know grits and collard greens. Like, mm mm. 
Big Mama. You don't like especially. She was like, you, don't you like gonna eat it. You don't like soul food. No, what I kind was, of grits? Were they just plain I grits? Was like eight. Not for breakfast, bro. Not soul for food breakfast. for breakfast. Yeah, was like was there only no. grits and collard greens? Bro, I don't remember, remember the whole... No hot links? <laughs> Old people be doing shit like I that, I know there though. was hot links. Old people be doing shit. Like, even my grandma, when we would walk down, and it's breakfast time, and you get down early enough, she's making tortillas, and you're like, oh, shit, we're going to have breakfast tacos and shit. Bitch is making, like, a full fucking dinner. For fucking for breakfast, breakfast. like you but get there and you're breakfast. ready for like breakfast as a kid, and you got like here's the enchiladas and da 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 da, and the fucking we got the pork cooking in the smoker the right eggs. now, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? In here? I'm, so I'm expected to it? eat this want, way three more times. I want more cereal. Time. I want pancakes. That way every time you're there. Jeez, <laughs> like it's too it's much like, food. It was so bad. My, I remember my mom having to tell my dad. It's like you need to tell your mom to like kind of. My dad's like, I'm not telling her shit. Italians are even worse, bro. They just oh man, there's cooking. so much because and the pasta. Oh, bro, when I was young, we my mom had these two Italian friends, and they would invite us over. They'd randomly come over with like a plate or like with like a dish of something shit, right? Italians bro, be doing that. No, they they cooked us a <laughs> like six course meal, bro. Like we're sitting there eating meal after meal yes, after bro, meal. And- Around the table, my mom's drinking the wine and shit. Like they chilling. Like the guys are drinking anisette. You know, like <coughs> like like these little fancy. You ever see them drink anisette in those little fancy little glasses? And they don't like. And it's so much food. Like you're like damn chicken parm and, and pasta and a salad and some eggplant this and some. And like, then you got the soup and the yeah like, dessert. And, why are yeah. you doing this to me? Yeah, bro. Yeah, they be. I don't food. remember like. Jordan's my like y'all. Fam- my <laughs> family y'all cooking breakfast like that, bro. Like only, growing only up as a white kid, bro, you fend for yourself in the in the morning, bro. No one gives a fuck. <laughs> like, oh yeah, it's that way, bro. Yeah, uh, yeah. No one gives a fuck. Like they'll cook. You know, obviously you have your standard <coughs> bacon, eggs, toast, pancakes, or whatever, yada yada. But I don't remember. Yeah, I can't remember a thought. Like my. Even my grandma didn't really cook breakfast like that. She she give us like cereal or should we get like pecan swirls mm-hmm. and milk or something like that? Like I remember <laughs> something eating, from the eighteen eighties. Yeah, shit. my so they, my my grandma would drink coffee or something like that, and then we'd eat lunch and dinner or whatever. But I don't remember breakfast being too uh, much of a big you deal. Biscuits and the croissant, <coughs> crescent rolls. Only oh, my bro. mom, only my mom did stuff like that. My mom would actually cook every night. My dad would come home because he worked like at, in an office and shit. And he would come home and he would read the mail, and then we were fucking sitting down and eating, right? And every night she would have like dinner, and it didn't have to be something extravagant. Some one night it'd be hot dog night. The worst was meatloaf night. Oh God, <laughs> fucking meatloaf dreaded. is good. Not the way right. my mom fucking did it, bro. How did she just, make it? It was like throwing. She I, puts green bell peppers in it, doesn't she? No, no. This, she doesn't do any it's fucking. The worst. Thing. She just fucking makes the meat like with eggs and and meatloaf. Yeah, no. And probably doesn't season it, or she didn't season it right. And she folds it into this like loaf, and then puts ketchup on top, and then just nope. throws potatoes and baby carrots in there. <laughs> what? In a in like a pan. Was she and making put a it in pot there. roast? Was she mad at you? Bro, we all had to... My dad, either he fucking faked it, or he was mm. just like... Mm. He probably loved it. Yeah, and he was like, the best is the next day, the cold meat. Like, he would get a cold slice of that shit and put it between two pieces of bread and mayo yeah, and eat that shit. Yeah, the cat is fucking my, my door up. I, I hear it back there. <laughs> it sounds like to, I'll be back, guys. All right, sounds like somebody's saying help in the background, really. Help! <laughs> help! But yeah... He, either he would fake that he liked it, or he really did like it. Either way, we all had to fucking suffer through it. It was so bad. <laughs> my my mom made the best meatloaf, bro. I don't bro, know. I hear so many people talking about how good their meatloaf is, and they put like some mushroom thing on it or some shit. Like I I, 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 I want to have good meatloaf. I have never had good meatloaf, and because it's traumatized me. Somebody's like, "Hey, I got meatloaf." I'm like, "You know what else my mom keep made?" That shit. Fucking ratatouille, bro. Whenever my mom made ratatouille, that shit was bomb, bro. Every bro, time. your mom made ratatouille, bro. Oh, shit, yes. My grandmother was up to making all the night the good shit, but my mom was not a, or is not a good, or she wasn't. We get a lot of American, and then here's how you can tell: like my mom got a lot of her meals from my grandmother, who was Puerto Rican, and my grandfather's Irish, so she got all that shit too. 
And then my other grandmother was just straight Mexican. So she's like adopting all these things. And then one day she just gave up. Like in high school, she just fucking gave up. And we were like coming home from school. And of course, we all had band practice. So we're coming home like later. And my dad's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm sitting down. And I'm eating 530, you know. So we get home and there'd be like leftovers basically. And then it started being fend for yourself night. Like that yeah, was I it. Know that it was, was like you whatever's in the cabinet, whatever's in the fridge, you do you. And I'm like, I'm fucking fifteen years old. What do you mean fend for my All right. <coughs> Cheetos sandwiches it is. <laughs> you know type of thing. Cheetos on bread. Cheetos on bread with some mayo on there. Oh. Yeah, that's some mayo. My mom used to make me cook one night every week. So like, damn. So I, when I got to, like now that I'm grown, like it's You're good because I, I can fairly you can cook you can live. Well. Yeah, but like yeah, and I didn't like it growing up. It's I a used, skill it was a me. chore, you know. Like, yes. Yeah, what would you cook? Pasta is always my go-to, bro. Good, like, good one. It's always my go-to. I'm I used super to like, easy. I used to like cut up vegetables, carrots, and shit. Yeah. And, like really make it up, you know. Slice them. Speaking really of which, boys, we were talking about all this food. I think we have to cut this podcast short. I got to start dinner. Oh, right now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So we're going to wrap this episode up, boys. I got to make some chicken and dumplings. We already have the chicken. The chicken's already cooked. I got rotisserie chicken. That no sounds, fucking that good. way. All right. So. To be continued. Oh, to be yeah. continued. We'll see you guys next week. See you, Space Cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Bang. <laughs>